Hey everyone, Queen Cat's finally back with Bentley. Yeah. So, this is a bag. You can tell it's from Coach. I've had this bag for three, maybe four years. This is a bag that was discontinued for just regular retail purchase. And I want to use it. So, I need to unbag this because it's been in this situation. You can tell what it is if you know Coach. It's been in this situation since I bought it three, four years ago. So here we go. I know it's not good to store in plastic, but it was in a place where it wasn't going to get damaged and lots of air could get to it. So this is the first time I'm taking all this stuff off of it. So you can see that it is a Rogue 25. This happens to be a second generation Rogue for the Rogueaholics out there. It is black and I'm dying. I've been dying to take this off. I'm going to tell you a little story while I do this. So I went to the downtown store yesterday on Burrard, the Coach Burrard, Vancouver location. And I was going to design my own Rogue because I've got, I think I've got four Rogues and I have a Rogue tote. I don't have a big coach collection, but their 1941 leathers are really, really nice. Beautiful leather. So I went down there and I tried to, you know, look around the store and see what they had in stock. Maybe fiddled with some pieces and tried to put my own together because you can build your own robe now in, a, in all the sizes. And not the tote bag though, they don't have that. And I fell in love with a bag that they had in the store, but it was extremely expensive. I mean, Louis Vuitton expensive, but I like the 25 and they didn't have that one in a 25. Let me grab, I just happen to have it here. I have a 31 in the whip stitch. I've had this forever and I've never used it either. So, I always thought this bag was too heavy, too hot, but when I looked at that one yesterday with the crocodile handles, because that's what I wanted to put on my bag, but you can't get that in Canada. I don't know why Coach can't get them in. Every other designer can. So this is the 31. So it's a quite a quite a size difference. I have the little Rexy on there. And this one is in the Oxblood, the whip stitch handles. It's black and Oxblood, and then the inside is saddle I think saddle or honey one of those colors and then it's got it on the side so this is a beautiful bag but I got all my robes when they were dirt cheap you know when they started clearing them out and you could find them at the outlets you could find them everywhere that's when I started buying all my robes so that's when I bought this one they had one that was completely brand new never been looked at so we're going to look at it today because I want to use it I love this size and this is the classic color. Um, it's the black and it's just, it's just such a beautiful bag. I may still make one and I, I may even buy that one that I saw in the store, but it's a lot of money for a coach bag. I mean, I, I guess I probably shouldn't say that. I keep saying it's a lot of money for a coach bag, but coach has come a long way with their leathers and Actually, they ha they have they've been around since 1941, and they used to just make the leather bags. The um, what is it? Tanned leather? What is it called? Um, pebble leather? Uh, the glove tanned leather? And they've done beautiful leather. It's the it's the C's that I don't like. The um, monogram, the Coach monogram, is not for me. They do make it with a combination of leather and canvas and like cotton um, that are some beautiful bags. They're just not bags that I prefer. So I like the Rogue, uh, but I like this size. So if you want to customize your own Rogue, you have to go to the store. You could do it online, but I think going to the store is a lot more fun now that we can all travel and stuff. Well, travel downtown. And um, you go and you mix and match colors and you can pick your hardware. Uh, you could pick the lining. You could pick, um, different colors you can make it like several colors if you want and a lot of people have gotten really creative and made 
uh, tons of different variations and colors and just Google it and you might be able to find some. I don't know if I'm going to get all of this off because it's on there. It's on there pretty good, so I don't want to waste time fiddling. Do we, Lily? Huh? Hello? There we go. That part came off. Oh, it's got that sticky, that thick plastic. That's like tape, but it's not to protect the hardware. Yeah, so here is my little 25, or sorry, yeah, 25. It's been a while, hasn't it? Hope you've all been well. This one happens to be in the black. It's in the black pebble leather. It comes with the cloche and the little coach tag. And this will be the same color as the bag. Now the handles, because they're not in a pebbled, they're in sort of a gloved leather, um, a solid, not pebbled, you're gonna get, your clochette is gonna match. So the crocodile one that I wanted, the handles were in crocodile and the clochette was in crocodile as well. That is a $1,400 upgrade just for the handles and that. $1,400 right there, $1,600 American, but we figured it may be around $1,400 Canadian, which is odd, but anyway, just for that, two handles and that in Crocodile, made that bag $2,800, and I'm thinking, it's a coach bag, do I want to spend $2,800 on a coach bag, so, especially when I can design it the same size, that was the 31, I can design it with all custom everything, but not exotic leather handles for eleven seventy five. The same bag, but the handles would just be like whatever color I chose. So I'm still thinking about creating one. Probably in this size though. This is my favorite size. So beautiful. Inside you get the coach protector bag. Lots of stuffing. Oh, I tell you, it's been a long time. And I go, I'm not going to open this bag and use it until I film a video. And three or four years later, with this bag, probably three years. No, maybe four, because the pandemic feels like it's been two years. So, yeah. So, there's just a little bit of tape on here still left inside. But that's it. That's a Rogue. A Rogue 25. Very, very cute. I got this very, very inexpensive, shall we say. You can tell it's a Generation 2 because it's got these on it and the little leather tabs. And, uh, I, well, I bought it four years ago. I know it's a second generation. So it's got that beautiful, heavier leather. I think the leathers may have changed, but everybody's changing things now. So, yeah, this is my, it's the first time I'm seeing it. Mine. I mean, I've seen these all over. Now, they did reintroduce this bag in black with, I think, burgundy or oxblood lining, So, which is nice, but they've also got pockets now on the outsides of these. They have pockets. And I, I like one little card pocket and a slip pocket on this side, and it's the slip pocket doesn't even hold a cell phone. Well, not my cell phone. So you can take these off, or you can make it long, and have a crossbody, but I usually carry my little robes like this. So here is my whip stitch color block, gorgeous bag. I was gonna sell this, it's never been used. I was going to sell this bag because I thought it was too big and heavy, but I really like all the colors on it. So it's got that suede on the side, and that's the size difference. So yeah, you can get any color that they've got, they've got a, a load of colors and they've got a bunch of different linings and you can get brass, uh, you can get black uh, copper, black copper, you can get a whole bunch of different things. They don't offer like a huge amount, but it's nice for a custom bag. It's nice to be able to custom bag, you know, custom design a bag or color the bag anyway. So there is my Rogue 25. I hope you're well, keep well, enjoy your summer. Peace guys.